So what were the specific skills that you and Chris liked about Claypool that made you want to pursue that? And, oh. did, the, and did the Ezukama and uh, Craycraft injuries contribute toward the choice? To Dude, I was sure you were going Giants. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, that, uh, you know, I think that's a exciting opportunity. I think it, the, um, you know, it's kind of like Christmas in terms of, um, I don't know anything. So, um, when Chris comes to me about something we, um, that he has on, uh, on the docket, um, you know, we, we have good discussions and, you know, for us, it felt like, um, a situation where, uh, you know, there might be a role to carve out for him. Um, and then, you know, I think important for the player, you know, you have a, a guy that wants to um, take things into his own hands and, um, you know, uh, have an opportunity to be on, on a team. So um, to me, as beyond that, uh, it was an opportunity to take advantage of. It, we definitely weren't looking for um, – uh, receiver help. It, it wasn't in, in that nature at all. Very, very happy um, with our receiving core. Um, but, you know, I think one thing that Chris and I have always agreed upon and how we operate and, and do business is you have to, you have to stay steadfast um, to the commitment um, of, of making your team as good as it can be. So, you know, sometimes things come your, across your radar that you, you weren't even looking for, um, but when you assess it, um, if it falls under the the category of you know this has a chance to make us better, then you you jump on that you know and that's and that's been the case. There's been several instances now we're starting to accumulate where you know things things just um, you know when the opportunity presents itself you jump on it. Um, the the really happy about. Um, practice today, and I don't think he'll be there. Um, but uh, beyond that, you know, it's just business as usual, trying to get better one press conference at a time. And the skill set besides size, what what else stood out to you and Chris? Um, you guys, you guys want me to say it, don't you? Yeah, he's fast. That's cool. Um, but really, no, you you have a player. You're very open minded uh, to you know, the unique attributes of a guy that comes into the league um, and generally uh, you you don't see that often receivers gain a reputation through special teams and then develop um, in, you know, as receivers. There's a multitude of ways that he's contributed. Um, you know, I think this team – um, we have a lot of players that are moving in the in the right and same direction, um, and there's guys that, you know, really across the board. I wouldn't say one player is satisfied with their role. Everybody wants more of the pie in one way, shape, or form, whatever that looks like for them. But we have a team that really respects, uh, you know each other and respects um, and really has love for, for each other. So you're, you're competing with people, not against them. So I, I think that's a good, good situation for any player to come into. Um, and, you know, that like every player that's, that comes here, they get the opportunity to earn their place within the locker room. That will be very important. Um, for him and kind of dictate the terms um, on what that looks like, uh, but not really getting over the top, envisioning this, that, or the other, more that we have an opportunity to um, upgrade our team, uh, a, a talented guy that's um, not easily accessible all the time. And now it'll be up to him um, to, to see what that looks like. and. Um, one thing I do know is he'll get the support from his t teammates. Um, the locker room here is pretty, pretty cool, and uh, you know, loves. Really, our locker room loves people that help us win. So, 
Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, there, uh, huh. there, there's been rumblings other places about Chase and maybe his work ethic question marks. I'm curious how much you and Chris talked about that before deciding to to bring him in and how you managed that. No, it, you know that's a there's a there's a balance with that. Like everybody hears things, okay, um, and so yeah, I think it's very very important that you let people tell you who they are um and i see better than i hear you you don't there's so many things that can go on certain circumstances um you know whether that from my my vantage point i look at it like this i'm not going to make myself wrong with something that i don't know by judging x y or z we give you the opportunity to define who you are in the most honest, organic, real way possible. And that's open mind, clean slate, let's go. Okay? And to me, that then we as an organization, myself as a coach, like you don't have to play the end all be all no predictor. You can let people. The, that's the way it should be. They should be able to decide that, who they are and whatever that is. You know, you hear stuff left and right. I've, I've been in the league long enough to to know that um, circumstances can be all sorts of different things. I don't downplay what he's gone through. Um, he went through it. You, you give an opportunity and you allow someone to um, follow their dream, control, put put the control in their own hands and, you know, show teammates each and every day, you know, what, what you're really about. And that, um, is an opportunity that we're, we're happy to afford them. And, you know, I, I don't, it's, it's less about like, oh, I know this is not true. And that's like, it literally irrelevant. This is, it'll start as a dolphin. Um, and be able to earn whatever place he wants within the locker room um, based upon his actions on a daily basis. Um, and, and I think our, our standard of commitment and work ethic, um, you know, it, it's, it will be very clear what that is. And um, I don't think uh, it, you, you, you have to really deep dive into the whole program um, to keep up. And, and I, I think he's a competitor that um, sounds like he's up for the challenge, and it's, um, and it's fun. And Chris, Chris gets, gets to come to my office, office and tell me cool prospects and blow my mind while we're game planning. And then we talk through it, and it's, um, I, I'm excited for the, the you know, it's always a nice litmus test for your locker room when, when, when guys come in. You can see where they're at, and, and I know um, I'm very confident that our guys will uh, embrace him and we'll move forward with a new teammate.